Okay, so uh, here is a copy of the MK812 Mini Android PC. I got this to build a uh, mini projector system. First, let's uh, check out the internet speed. Uh, you can see here that the download speed is uh, pretty good. I had a uh, MK808 that had uh, terrible Wi-Fi, um, and I wanted something that uh, had better reception since this has an external antenna. I figured it would work uh, much better, which it does. Um, the internet speed on this thing is pretty decent. On uh, my laptop, I usually get about uh, 15 to 20,000 uh, score using the uh, speed test app. Um, but these but these numbers are really good for uh, uh, streaming and uh, downloading content. Uh, for this particular use of this device, I wanted to. Uh, use this for mostly watching movies and stuff so let's check out Netflix um, just pull up something that uh, started watching a while back you can see here that the uh, app loads really uh, quick it's responsive and uh, as you'd expect the uh, Netflix is uh, working pretty well um, the video quality on this is uh, really good um, and I'm really happy with the way it's uh, streaming videos off of Netflix. Um, let's check out, check out Watch ESPN. Uh, this uh, on my other Android stick for some reason audio lags, but on the uh, MK812, it, I don't seem to notice any uh, lag. I, I will say I've only had this for about a week, and so I haven't really done a lot of testing with it yet. But uh, so far, it looks really good. It's uh, NCAA uh, tournament time here, and it looks like uh, Denver's uh, beating Maryland. Go Denver. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Uh, you can see the quality of the streaming video is pretty good. Um, this was kind of a surprise. Um, the HBO Go app, when I tried it with my older Android stick, uh, it wouldn't work. It said that it... Uh, the app couldn't output uh, to HDMI. I don't know if they've uh, upgraded or fixed the app or if it's just this uh, particular device, but on the uh, MK812 uh, HBO uh, works just fine. Uh, well, at least their app does, uh, as you can see here. So the uh, HBO is working. That's a definite plus. Okay, so the next thing uh, we're going to check out is the uh, ability to just play video files. Right now I've got a 32 gig uh, flash drive as well as a 32 uh, gig um, micro SD card in there. Um, let's try playing something off the USB drive. Um, let me find a video here to play. I'll go with this classic um, MX player I installed on this myself. I like the player. It uh, seems to handle just about every uh, file I throw at it. And so here's a uh, classic movie, uh, Casablanca. Uh, you can see the uh, video uh, quality is uh, pretty good and it uh, seems to be working really well. Okay. So that's working. One of the interesting features of the MK812 is that it does have a built in camera. Um, I installed Skype in here uh, and entered my username, password, and everything. Looks like it's loading fine, but for some reason, uh, as soon as the program loads, get a message that I'm signed in and then the uh, app dies. So, at least for me, uh, Skype's not working. Now the reason I uh, got the uh, MK812 was to hook it up to my uh, mini projector, which you can see in this picture. I've got the uh, Brickstone mini projector. You can see the uh, MK812 
Um, I have a little USB box that's hooked up to it as well as a portable speaker. It's actually uh, plugged into either uh, USB audio uh, uh, sound card that I bought off of eBay or you can also plug it into the uh, back of the projector. Um, got a little remote control uh, keyboard uh, touchscreen that I can use to control this uh, as well as the uh, app that comes with the MK18 that you can put on any uh, Android phone, phone or tablet and control it. Um, you can also see the uh, external antenna um, that's uh, got a magnetic base on it so you can stick it on the, any type of metal. So this little setup here is uh, basically I wanted to make the projector a smart projector. Um, it has uh, The projector has a battery in it so you can actually uh, take it um, outside or uh, take it anywhere you want and so I wanted to see how well the uh, MK18 or MK812 um, works with this guy. Okay so here we are with the micro setup. This is a little bit different. All I've got is the uh, MK812 plugged into the uh, back of the projector which also acts as a battery and storage and uh, the only reason there's two cables coming out is because of uh, just connecting the uh, power from the uh, projector to the MK18 and then the uh, HDMI cables used to connect to the projector. And so this is ultra portable, it's not plugged into anything. You can pretty much take this anywhere and project it up against anything. And here's what the uh, screen projection looks like. Pretty decent. Okay. Yes. So here's the uh, projection. I'm actually using the uh, phone app that allows you to remotely control this guy. Let's go back here to uh, USB drive. Let's play some other video off of here. Oh, uh, how about? A little Sherlock Holmes is good. Let's go ahead and resume it. And again, this is. If you don't stop crying, I'll burn you. Alright, so I've got my portable outdoor movie theater. Uh, take it wherever I want, set up in my two seconds and project against any type of uh, siding or anything. It can be as simple or as uh, complicated as you want. Not sure how long this will last on the battery, but it does give you the uh, ability to uh, take it anywhere you want, which is the whole reason why I wanted to get the MK812. Uh,